Yeah, man, that's the look right there. Looks good. <laughs> what a good setup. I'm really happy with this lighting setup. This is the first time I've kind of done like a more stylized look and in a lit interview type setup. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hey friend, Levi Allen here. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to achieve this seamless black background look on a budget with a single source of lighting. I used this on a shoot recently and I was really happy with the results. We went fairly stylized with the look with contrasty shadows, but you can definitely dial this back a bit and achieve something really nice for your next talking head video. Today I'm gonna to take you along on our shoot and hopefully give you some really practical tips on how you can achieve this yourself. You can also sign up to make sure you don't miss these free education videos from me in the future and other blog posts and tutorials I put out. You're on the vlog. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Always good to be on the vlog. Um, right, I do need one. Yeah, just, yeah, that's actually perfect. That's the cool thing about lending gear to friends. If you lend your gear to friends, they lend their gear to you. Spending all the money. Quickly bought some last minute light stands and diffusions. Tempting to buy everything in that store. So many, so many nice things. You can accomplish this look without actually needing a black backdrop or black fabric. The key to pulling off this look is finding a room that's spacious where you can control the lighting. It doesn't matter what color the walls are, you just wanna be able to control the lighting that's happening in the room and reduce any reflections. Rooms that might work well for this are basement rooms and houses, basketball gyms without windows, basically just any slightly larger space where you can turn all the lights off and mask out any windows. Right on, so this is the space we're filming in here today. It's a nice big room. Yeah, right now the things that we're looking after is just kind of making sure all the light sources are gonna be able to be turned off. Um, there's a few rooms that kind of go off this room, just making sure all those light bulbs are off. So let's, uh, let's get this thing set up. Step three, placement of the subject. You wanna bring the person you're gonna be shooting, the interview chair they're sitting on, as far to one side of the room as possible where you can still get an angle that you're happy with. You want as much space in between the subject that you're shooting and the walls behind them as possible because that's what really helps sell the seamless look. Step four, this is where you get to set up the lighting. This is the exciting part where it sort of all starts to come together. What you're trying to do is just have light fall on the subject so that way when you point your camera at the subject, the background doesn't have any light on it and therefore is black. How we achieve this is we put the light source directly above our talent. We managed to borrow a Kino 4 bank. This is a really nice source of soft light already. So we basically just put this directly on top of the subject facing down at a slight angle. We then taped some diffusion to the outside barn doors of the Kino. And this gave us an even softer spill on the light. Now the key here is we put the Kino directly above our subject so it has this nice fall off on the floor and doesn't reach the walls behind. We wanted stylized shadows on the face that are pretty contrasty. If you want more light on the face with less shadows, you can adjust your light by bringing it slightly forward and angling it down just a little bit more to reduce those shadows on the face. You don't need the same light we used to achieve this look. You can use some of those cheaper soft boxes available on Amazon. The key here though, is that if your room is smaller than the one we used, is you wanna make sure your light's controlled and doesn't spill off to the walls. You can do this by adding additional black fabric around the perimeter of your light to make sure that it doesn't add more light where you don't want it. Yeah, I think that's how we should do it. Like that's the style we're going for right there. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gonna turn the light back on for now. Hey look, it's a boy. <laughs> Step five, 
Now you wanna dial in the settings on your camera to make sure this look is pulled off as best as possible. We use two C100s as our A cam and B cam, with a 70 to 200 on one and a 24 to 70 on the other. This allowed us to have a slightly wide shot and also a really nice tight shot. We wanted the background to be thrown out of focus a little bit. So we kept both the lenses on our A and B cam at F4. We focused it on the face and then we dialed back the ISO until we were happy with how bright the key light was on the face of our subject. And then for the shooting portion, we basically hit record on the A and B camera and then Casey and I went around with GH5s and picked off these unique shots from the side. These kind of gave us some handheld diversity to cut in with our two tripod master shots. And that's what's really handy about setting up the entire room for a black background look like this. We could shoot all from around the subject and get nice unique shots and not worry about having to have black fabric behind the subject. If you learned something from this, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you also want to get other filmmaking education from me in the future, entirely for free, make sure you sign up and get those emails when they come out so you don't miss anything. Okay, well, that is a wrap here in this studio space. I think we did a good job. You do a good job, Casey? I think so, yeah. It's pretty good stuff. We, I mean, simply just taped some diffusion on it. Um, I'm a happy guy. Now we gotta clean up. It's gonna be fun. That's why I brought Casey here. Actually, Casey's gonna clean everything up. Yeah, just head over to Maui, sip some coconuts on the beach while you finish cleaning up here. Ah, uh, no problem. It's fine, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. It was a blast bringing you along. If you want to support what we're doing, you can get yourself a Left Coast t-shirt over at the store. We've got some awesome options to pick from. And that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And remember, life's better when you make stuff.